The migration story of my father, Greg Bosnich, gives a story similar to that of many other Australians, where their beginnings began on the other side of the world, and the hardships that some may go through in order to find a better life. In 1959, in the small village of Blatel, on the island of Korčula, Croatia, my father, originally named Dragomir, was born. Tragedy struck his life at an early age when his mother, Ljubica, died of tuberculosis when he was just three years old. The antibiotics for this disease was available in Croatia just one year after her death. At the age of 12, after being brought up by his grandparents, his father, my grandfather, decided that the move to Australia would be the answer to finding a better life. In 1970, the long boat journey to Queensland began, and five weeks later, Greg found himself in a strange country, one where his grandparents were not, one where he did not understand the language, and one where he no longer fit in. With the Australian tobacco industry booming, my grandfather found work cutting tobacco in the tobacco fields. To help provide for the family, Greg, at the age of 12, was also working long hours in the tobacco fields. After living in Queensland for just a year, the opportunity to, new, to move to New South Wales, where many other Croatian families were living, had arised. Moving to the city of Sydney, to the town of Neutral Bay, Greg, Greg was enrolled in Neutral Bay Public School. Let's just say his earliest schooling memories were not the best, with limited English, teasing and bullying are the memories he obtains from those days. The move towards acceptance began when his family relocated to Willoughby, thus sending him to Crow's Nest Boys High School. With the high population of Croatian families and his improving English, Greg found his sense of belonging both at school and in the wider community, especially through his involvement with representing soccer clubs both in Australia and overseas. By the age of 18, now speaking perfect English and ready to leave school, Greg's high school teachers began to push the idea of him attending university. Although he would have liked to continue on with higher education, his family saw the present needs and he began entering the workforce instead. In 1980, during the era of long hair and apparently moustaches, Greg met a young lady named Vesna, and by 1982 they were married with a new house, a new dog, and by 1986, a new baby girl. By 1991, they would have three girls, and later in 2004, finally a son. Beginning his work in the car industry at a young age, his climb up the ladder in this field was one that was tough, but also successful. Through my father's experiences, he has taught me not only to work hard, but also to make your own decisions and not be held back by anyone from what you want in life. Although my family sees ourselves as Australians, we also do not forget our family background and celebrate it whenever we get the chance by attending Croatian functions and participating in traditional festivities. Looking at my father now, you would not even think that it is a possibility that he came from a small town on an island in Croatia and went through the hardships of leaving all he knew to move to a strange and faraway country. This is a story that I feel many Australians can associate with and one that is important for the future generations of my family to remember, as all Australians have a beginning from somewhere and a beginning that should not be forgotten.